Hey guys, this is Tom Miller with Music Car Northwest here in Portland, Oregon. Again, and today we have uh, we have another Porsche 911. This one's a GT3, a uh, beautiful car. And we did our radar system in it that we uh, do quite a few of. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that for you, how that works and how that's all integrated and everything. But we also did a backup camera system in here. Um, this car is gonna be tracked, so we did some uh, special tricks with the backup camera. Backup camera interface from Nav TV. I'm gonna go ahead and power this on and we'll see the radar display come to life here. As you can see, it's behind the acrylic window, which is kind of our standard for the 911s. It uh, replaces a blank panel that's there from the factory that I've never seen used for anything. Um, down here we have our control unit and we've converted a couple of these blanks here to be functional buttons. Um, the first one is gonna be this one here, and this is our power button, so I press and hold this. Powering down. And our sister tur system turns off. And I'm gonna turn it back on using that same blank that's been converted into a button. There we go. Okay, and so that's really nice and functional as you can see, um, there's, no, there's no visible modification to the button. We've just uh, worked some magic on those. You can see these blanks, they don't do anything. But when we convert them into a button, then we make them click. Uh, backup camera here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in reverse and see what that normally looks like. <clears throat> it's a really nice picture. Um, using an Alpine camera in the back, mounted right above the license plate frame, because it's a really nice view. Of, it's a super wide angle, um, because like I said, he wants to be able to track this car so we can really see the corners on it. And I'm gonna have to start the car to see one of the features of this nav tv interface all right so i'm not going to put it in reverse um i'm just going to press this button here and that's going to force that rear camera on so let's see if i can back up and see that happen here press that and then we go back to normal press it again and we got backup camera. So now we can turn that on while he's tracking. You can see he's on his corners. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then one of the features that comes pre-programmed from the Nav TV piece is if I double click this button here, then I can turn on an additional video input. And he's gonna use this for a um, GPS system that he has that'll actually overlay the track onto his car, uh, onto his screen. Um, so any video input can be put in there. And it's really nice that it uses uh, a factory button to be able to uh, access that. So I'm gonna do that again. Double press on there. And we go back to the factory screen. There we go. So that's a really neat integration piece. And um, this uses an input that's available from the, a wire input that's available on that nav TV piece. But of course we handle the, the button modification here and I thought that was a pretty clever way to get that to uh, force the rear camera on. There we go. Pretty sweet. So it's a 2014 Porsche 911 GT3 here at Music Car Northwest in Portland, Oregon. Thanks for watching. Come by and see us.